Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver, and welcome back to World of Horror. And on today's episode, we are once again going to do a quick play. And by that, I just, I, I mean we're gonna do a customize the playthrough. And we are going to try and defeat something truly evil. And we're gonna use Yashiro for this, because I feel like the extra health could probably come in handy. Now, this will probably be a shorter episode, but I think that's okay. Uh, because essentially what we're going to do is literally just try and beat something truly evil. That's it. That's the- we're going to 100% the game. We have nine- we have every single achievement except for this last one. So, what we're looking for in order to do this is we're looking for library notes and we're looking for we're looking for library okay that's step one we're looking for library notes we're looking for a memory extract and we're looking for freaking uh, flesh regrowth uh shadow shroud is neither of those things well i mean if you insist i don't i <laughs> okay so that's uh that that's number one and then we're looking for flesh regrowth We'll, we'll roll a few times. We'll, we'll roll a few times for sure. But, uh... Basically, we want to buy as many healing items. We'll, we'll roll one more time. Uh, actually... This is interesting. We're gonna use that. But, uh, basically, the idea is... We are going to buy as many healing items as we can. And we're basically just going to defeat something truly evil, hopefully on our first try. Uh, because we got lucky, this could be like the shortest episode I've ever done. But uh, I guess you know how truthful that statement is. Um, it doesn't matter looking for Moriko or not. Uh, because we're just we're going to try to do this on the first mystery if we can. So we have, let's see... And we're doing it on Harbinger of Doom because, of course, we have to. The only ach I think the only achievement we haven't gotten on Harbinger of Doom is the achievement where you have to beat True Believer, which is the small candle. Um, but yeah, let's... Okay, so we have... We'd have to get two more funds in order to buy, like, a lot of... Oh, right now, we can buy, like, a sewing kit and uh, the other thing, the, like, the experimental treatment. But let's, uh, we do need to get some EXP first, though. That is true. So maybe, maybe we want to draw it out a little bit. Like, maybe go to Fear Festival. No, no, no. Let's just try to do this on the first go. And of course, we're doing this with, like, all perk stuff enabled or whatever. So, and they're not all perks, sorry. We're doing this with all of the, the deck of cards enabled. So A, B, and C, uh, World of Horror Extended... And, obviously, we have all achievement unlocks on as well, so... We, uh, we're, we have a lot of, uh, variants, is what I'm trying to say. So, I am gonna take this. But, I think that we probably want a sewing kit. I mean, actually, we could sell the, uh... Why not just sell the library notes? And then buy the pain medication. That sounds fine to me. And so now, I think the best way to start is with Junji Ito. Um, and we can, we're obviously gonna rest at home multiple times. So I think it relatively should be fine. So I don't wanna start any like stories or like anecdotes or whatever, because I have no idea how long this video is gonna go, but I've been watching the uh, I think I mentioned this on stream, but I've been watching the, the DC Animated Universe movies, and I got to the uh, Suicide Squad hell to pay. And I gotta be honest, like, the movies have been getting progressively more and more violent, right? Like, I, I haven't... Admittedly, I watched the, the Flashpoint Paradox years ago. I didn't even know there was an extended universe, right? Like, it was just... I watched it because it looked cool and I wanted to see it. I had no idea that was the first movie. Um, but 
you know, at, at the start, like, so I haven't watched that one in a while, but I do remember that one being very violent. Like, I think there's a scene where, like, Wonder Woman just, like, hangs somebody with the lasso, something messed up like that, um, in uh, the Flashpoint Paradox. But after the Flashpoint Paradox, the movies are relatively, like, the violence will happen, of course. I mean, it's a superhero movie. But most of, like, the deaths, like, there there aren't really any deaths. Most of the violence is, like, cartoon violence, you know what I mean? It's not really, like, n nobody really dies, and nobody really gets, like, bloody injured either. And then, as it goes on, when you get to, like, the Son of Batman thing or whatever, when you start getting, like, Robin, people start, like, zombies start getting, like, cut in half and stuff, and they, like, have, like, black, like, goo blood or whatever, you know what I mean? But then it gets to, there's a there's a, a scene where Robin is like stabbed multiple times and like shot at, and it's like, oh Jesus Christ, this is getting a little bit more violent. But then we get to the um, the what is it, the Teen Titan stuff, and it's like there people are being shot and killed, and people are like dying on screen. And there's one, there's there's one thing that's like a Justice League thing, but it's actually just Batman and then like this guy named Constantine who I probably showed up in like the animated Justice League series that I watched a long time ago, but I honestly don't really remember him that much. Um, but it's like Constantine and like a ghost and somebody else and so that's obviously like uh so they call it a justice league movie but it's literally just like batman and some magicians i guess you could say um but you know in that one there is a scene where a <laughs> like i it's just like sort of like the progression like it, it literally is the meme the violence has escalated it's like in the I, I don't even remember what the movie's called. I've been binge watching them. It's like we should probably go to like the the downtown because there's a a point where something truly evil can look at us here. But uh it it's like this woman who's like the humanoid will of a magic house made manifest. It sounds absolutely insane when I say it like that. But uh she basically, like, she, she burns, and you, like, see, like, the, the, <laughs> you see, like, the skin, and then the flesh, and then the skeleton, and I'm like, good god, I had no idea that this was gonna get like this. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna, like, here's the thing, I don't find it morally objectionable or wrong, I mean, do you see the video game that I'm playing right now? Um, but it's just, like, She's literally just, like, burning to death, and then you can see, like... Oh, yeah, there's another scene where some dude's, eye, like... Well, there, there's, like, another scene. I, I'm getting distracted. But she basically just, like, incinerates. It's like, Jesus Christ! It's like, a few movies ago, somebody would get shot, and there wouldn't be any freaking blood. <laughs> but now it's like, people are... Here we go, here we go. People are freaking burning to death, and I'm like, dear God... Can we go to the house yet and get, uh... Yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. So we do this until we get to five, and then we hope that we don't doom out, is basically just the... That basically, we just get to five and then hope we don't doom out. But it's a hot bath. Although we don't want to take damage, of course, because we obviously want to live. Um, we don't really care about injuries unless they, like, really... Wow, we got that twice. That's an... I want that RNG in my regular runs. Okay. No! It, I was like, yeah, something truly evil. Woo! But no, it's like... Maybe we actually do fight this one. I, I think we do. Because... Yeah, I forgot that that was a thing that happened. Uh, we probably run. Oh, but we we probably run. I think. Yeah, we probably run. Like, what are what are the chances that we doom out before we get something truly evil? 
But, like, I was watching, um... Oh, what's it called? The, uh... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The thing that made me think about this is I, I just started watching the Suicide Squad movie. Uh, Hell to Pay or whatever. And it has an absolutely re insane premise that I I, I I love it. But it's, a, it's an absurd premise. Here we go. No music, huh? It, it truly is an absurd premise, right? It, it's literally like... Uh, so here's the thing. This sets us lo lose two stamina. That's fine. Uh, lose set remaining to stamina to three. I don't want to do that. Uh, so this actually will heal us, won't it? Now I need to regain reason here. Uh, set max. Re okay, so set remaining stamina to three. So we'll take damage but we can just set our remaining stamina to three, right? You've bled enough. Aw, oh, crap. So we have to get both, we have to set both our reason and our, uh, whatchamacallit, down to, uh, down to three, I suppose. It's been a while since I've actually done it. But, uh, okay, let's go with, uh, Seventh Curse again. And back at it we go. This would be... Probably a lot e well, Actually, would it be easier on the other difficulties? I don't know, because you have to set your health to three. So I guess it doesn't really matter what your max health is. Maybe we should have played a different character. I wonder if it can be affected by Aiko and her attack speed thing, so you could, like, brace for impact while you're bleeding yourself out. That would be pretty, uh... That would be interesting. Okay, so no, no cool spells this time, just, uh... Just a... We'll, we'll do bulletin. It it, I mean, it doesn't matter, but... We are going to... Hopefully... Traumatized is actually... Okay, no, that's fine, actually. I was about to say, if it was the one where it's like... You take reason damage with stamina damage or whatever, that, that could have been pretty bad. But, as long as it's just minus max reason, that's probably fine. We need... We probably... Okay, so the the meta here is what we want to... We, what we want to do is we want to get uh, Jar of Blood. Uh, that works, too. And then we want to buy... That's fine. 13 reason is fine. Uh, we want to buy... I don't want pain medication. I mean, experimental drug would work. So I guess I'll do it, because what we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the doctor's office, steal the pills. So now we have a really good setup. We're just gonna run away from every enemy we encounter, which actually, now that I think about it, we should go to the police sta- Aw, oh, crap, that's- Aw, oh, crap! <laughs> Those were both the wrong buttons. Okay, there we go. So we've requested more patrols, so now we just, like, we, we just go until we, we get it done. And anybody we encounter, we're not going into any area that I think has, like, a time warper or something, so we don't have to worry about combat. We can just, like, run away. So now we go to here. Once we get to two, we can then rest at home a bunch of times. We probably should have taken the uh, ticket to ride. But, uh, yeah, so I've been watching the, the Suicide Squad. I mean, why not, right? It's free. I've been watching the Suicide Squad movie, uh, Hell to Pay or whatever it's called. And, uh, there we go. And in the opening act of this movie, there is, like, more gore and blood than, like, every other part of, like, the Justice League sh movies up until that point. Like, I, I, like, it is absolutely insane. Like, there's, um, like, you deadass just see pe have people, like, s their heads get blown off. And it's like, that is... Not what I was expecting. But I do, like, I mean, I guess I should have expected it because I remember, like... Hey, there we go. <laughs> Wait, broken nose. Okay, no, that's fine. We're not gonna rest ever again. Um... Okay, well, I mean, that's fine, I guess, but... Something truly evil can... There we go. Okay, so, uh, lose two stamina... 
Lose two reason. Uh, set. Well, that would kill us, so we do this. And then we're gonna have to take, like, a recovery turn. So, what we'll do is we can forget this spell, actually. Um, plus four stamina. And then we need plus four reason. Set remaining reason to three. And then we have the final thing, right? Something evil is sated for now. Evil encounter. All right, we've done it. We have unlocked the new achievement, and uh, we will also do something that we don't normally do to kind of cap off the run, because why not, right? Oh, where'd the dog go? Oh, no. Uh, so anyways, thank you so much for watching. I know this was a, a shorter episode, but I did want to just kind of get the uh the final achievement it's the last achievement that we that we needed to finally get the after all this time 100 percent achievements unlocked at the time of recording this video um so we i think episode 100 i'm gonna double check before i end the episode here but i believe episode 199 was when we got had the save file reset. And so, that would mean, allow me to, well, hold on, I'm, uh, I'm, contra I'm contractually obligated. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, so episode, I'm pretty sure it was episode 199, The Cloud. Okay, yeah, yeah, so it's been, Two hundred and set. It's been. Uh, let's see. So it's been six. It took us sixty-eight episodes to get one hundred percent achievement unlock. So that that's actually pretty good. I'm pretty sure. I I don't know if sixty-eight episodes is our current best or what, but uh, regardless, I hope you're all uh, staying safe out there, and I hope you're having a good one. I'll uh, see you on the next episode of World of Horror. Again, apologies for this being a shorter one, but. I mean, like, uh, you know, I, I just want to have a video for this achievement. And, uh, I guess to cap off the story, uh, these DC movies be getting violent, yo.